even though in about 70% of visa applications can be approved within about a week, there's still a percentage that takes longer. This is not a complicated explanation, though. Every country has the right, the United States and Saudi Arabia included, to know who's coming into their country. And the whole visa process revolves around answering three questions. The first one is, are you who you say you are? Are you coming to the United States for the reason you say you're coming? And are you coming back when you're finished? For most people, it's a very straightforward proposition. And in fact, globally, the biggest problem is that third point, are you coming back? وبالنسبة لمعظم الأشخاص حول العالم فالنقطة الثالثة هي نقطة مهمة هل أنت سوف تعود إلى وطنك بعد انتهاء السفر؟ But historically that is not a problem for Saudis because you traditionally do come back. ولكن ليست هذه مشكلة تاريخية ليست هذه مشكلة بالنسبة للمواطنين السعوديين حيث أنهم يعودون إلى بلادهم بعد انتهاء مرض السفر. The biggest challenge that we have is determining if you are who you say you are because of the commonality of names here in Saudi Arabia. So you may be a young man coming in for a student visa, but your name is very similar or identical to 40 others, and one of them is a bad person. So it then becomes a process of many parts of our government coming together and saying, okay, are you the person you say you are, not this other person of the same name? فهذه العملية ينضوي عليها المزيد من الإجراءات وتنضوي تحت تحتها العديد من الأجهزة الحكومية الأمريكية لتقرير ذكر هذا هو الشخص هو نفس من يدعي أنه هو. So what I ask is patience and we say two to three months ahead of travel and if you start the process three months ahead of travel you have about a 95% chance of having a visa in hand. Again, I want to thank you for coming today.